up them boots, sweep the floors, get the decks, we're going on a ship cruise. N not really, not really at all. Welcome to the 365 vlog. Hello people, today is June 11, 2016, day 163 of the 365 vlog. And as usual, I'm rescheduling things. As usual on my channel, I'm always about improvements and whatnot, so the other day, as per usual, my schedule felt a bit listless and aimless, and that bothered me a lot. The problem with this that really bothered me is the fact that I felt like every day I woke up at like noon and half my day was gone and I got nothing done, and that really bothered me. I had planned to do like Thursday, I started on this little project that I'm gonna be working on and I call in before 8. It's not gonna be like a video thing. or It's just more of me every day waking up at 8 to try and make sure I can accomplish everything I want to do for that day so I can make sure I'm definitely getting closer to hitting my goals and I'm gonna explain to you exactly what you can do as well in this video. First, I made a list of all the things that I wanted to do and accomplish in a certain time frame. The first thing in making sure to get your things or shit done in a timely manner is to make a deadline date and stick to it. These are important and figure out what exactly you want to do in that time frame. What you also want to do is you want to make sure that you look at what's keeping you from getting those things done and how you can mitigate those to make it easier to get the things that you want done in your whole scheduling process. Obviously this is like if you have like a full day, but what you should definitely do is plot out your week to figure out what it is you're doing each day. So you better understand how your time is being used and where to maximi maximize the amount of time you're actually able to do the things that you want to do. It's Sunday, right? But you're not doing anything that day. Take that day to like schedule out your week. What are you doing Monday to like next Sunday? figure out where everything goes. And if you don't know what exactly you're doing for the whole entire week, that's fine. But then take the days that you are certain that you're not gonna do anything or you're not as busy to fill in time to do things. Have a better idea of like what you're doing. Now let's say you have work, right? So you have work in the morning from like eight to maybe like five. Then you figure out it gets a little bit more dicey there because you gotta figure out how to manage your time so you can be ready for the next day if you have class or you have work again and maybe you don't work morning, maybe you work afternoon, then you can like switch your schedules in between that. But if you have a lot of free time like I do, or you have a lot of free time in general, you should definitely try and figure out how to manage your time better because you have so much of it and you don't want to feel like you're wasting it. It may seem a bit neurotic at first, but what you want to do is try and schedule your day out as much as possible to a T, and that's what I'm trying to do to make sure I don't waste any time. So what I do in the morning is I try to wake up at eight, then I try to get in a quick 30 minute workout, and then I try and have breakfast. After that, I take a 30 minute break, and then I go into the next session of things that I wanna do for the day. And then I take a break, and then I go into lunch. And then I take another break, and then I go back into what I wanna do. Now the breaks may seem like they're wasting time or adding to like lunch because lunch is already a break but lunch is like or breakfast maybe a time where it's just like I'm trying to transition think of it more of as a transition into the next thing and then slowly into dinner so it's like I want my day to be like from 8 to 12 and try and figure out how I can do the most within that day and understand that there are other things that I have to do but also know what it is I want to do for the next day and the next day and etc also just about micromanaging your time the better that you can do it the better time you will have in life and you won't feel like you're wasting especially since it's summer now and people are gonna be doing so many things and me I have like a lot of things on my plate I love to draw I love to play video games I want to create stories I want to go out and hang out with friends everybody has things that they want to do but it's more about like how to manage your time and figure out what's important when because if you can do that then you can do whatever it is you want in life I hope <laughs> That's pretty much all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and figured out like some way to like better schedule your life, uh, if it helped at all, or if you're just too busy to make a schedule. But I think micromanaging, getting a planner, putting it on your phone, all of these things help in organizing your time better. And that's something I'm relearning as I go along because you fall out of it. It's just about staying consistent. Hey guys, if you made it to the end of this video, don't hesitate to hit the like button and if it's your first time seeing my face, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button because I make new videos every day and I hope that you enjoy them. So tell me guys, how do you schedule your time or how do you feel like time is wasted or do you feel like you're already really good at it? Give me some advice in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Hey guys, I'm Vandal. Don't forget to keep it 365 and I'll talk to you tomorrow with another video. Peace. Bye. I almost forgot. I had picked um, four cards because I'm pretty sure you picked one and I promised one at the end of the video. So, 
let's see, I have four cards right here, right? I'm turning them on like this. So I picked four cards. One of these four cards